In this lecture, we'll talk about equations of trigonometric functions. So basically, in this lecture, we want to solve uh, equations with trigonometric functions involved. Okay. And here is the example. In this example, we are given sine x is one half. And we want to find all the x satisfy this equation. You know, sine x is one half. Again, if you look at this ruler, you will see that uh, for this ruler, the opposite side 1 over hypotenuse is 1 half. So this angle is 30 degrees, or pi over 6. Uh, pi is 180 divided by 6 is 30. Okay. So you may say that x is 30 degrees. Ah, that's correct, but you only find out one solution. There are many solutions over there. So you may say pi is x is pi over 6. But you know, since x is defined in the uh, the whole for the whole real number recall huh, this picture you see pi over 6 has y coordinate 1 half that's sign so pi over 6 is one solution but if you look at this point okay reference angle this one is also pi over 6 the y coordinate is 1 half so there is another solution, it's pi, 5 pi over 6. Okay, so you want to find out all the solutions. Yeah, one is pi over 6, another is 5 pi over 6, because they have the same y coordinate. Ah, y coordinate is sine. So the angle in the first quadrant and second quadrant and there are two solutions, it looks like. But remember, if this is the solution, you rotate clockwise, uh, counterclockwise, you get another angle. Okay, you rotate two circles, you get all different angles. And you can rotate counterclockwise, uh, clockwise. So is the case for 5 pi over 6. So there are many solutions over there. Okay, the trick part for the trigonometric functions is to find out all the solutions. Now, based on pi over 6 and 5 pi over 6, then add 2 pi on uh, each of them, we will get all the solutions. So, 1 is pi over 6, another is 5 pi over 6, then you add 2 n pi, okay, n can be 1, so that you add 1 circle, and can be negative 1, can be 0, if we put 0 here, that's pi over 6, okay, so is the case for 2 n pi, add or minus, plus minus, uh, 5 pi over 6. So these are all the solutions. Since here n can choose positive negative, so you may not really write plus minus. You may just write plus. Because n is negative number, then you will have a minus. Okay? So this is the solution for sine x equals one half. All right, I did one, 
you may try this one yourself. This one is tan in theta equals radical 3. And then what is the solution for theta? Again, you want to use this ruler to help you. Tang is opposite side over adjacent. So radical 3 over 1, you have radical 3, so you have a theta is 60 degrees or pi over 3. Okay, pi is 180 divided by 3, you have a 60. Okay, so you have a, at least one solution. Now again, combining the ruler, you know the special angles. In this case, we know that's 1 pi over 3. Again, you got to look into the definition. Ah, the definition was what? For tang is y over x. Okay, it's sine over cosine. You know, sine is radical 3 over 2, cosine is 1 half, that's radical 3. Okay, again, there are details down here. You can figure out here yourself. Oh, I may add it. Okay, you see, that's radical 3 divided by 2. Uh, then divided by one half. That's radical three over two divided by two times two over one. You cancel this two with this one. You have radical three. Yeah, that's the one down here. Okay. So you know this is pi over three, which is uh, sixty degrees. Well, remember. This is the angle is in the first quadrant, okay? But you know the angle can be in any of this quadrant. If you look at this quadrant three, this quadrant three, this quadrant three, you have a negative radical three over two, and here is negative one half. Then you have a negative radical 3 over 2 divided by negative 1 half, that's radical 3. Remember, tangent is positive in quadrant 1 and 3, negative in quadrant 2 and 4, ah, because one is negative, another is positive. So you get negative. One is positive, another is negative. So tangent, uh, Tangent is negative in those two quadrants, quadrant two and four. Positive one, quadrant one, and quadrant three. So again, there are two solutions down here. Okay, so one is pi over three, and then you add another one on that. Okay, and then if you add another pi, it comes back. Okay. You see that? Yeah. So in this case, you do is you have a pi over 3. You add pi, it goes that. Of course, you minus pi, you go like this. And then you add another pi, it comes back. So it swings. Okay? So in this case, we just choose pi over 3, and then add pi or minus pi. Okay? So... This is the solution for that. You may think about this yourself. Ah, pi over 3 plus m pi, and it can be positive, negative. This is one case. You got to think about this yourself. Another one is this one. 2 sine theta minus 1, parenthesis, times 2 cosine theta plus 3, ask you to solve it, equals 0. Uh, this expression is already factored out. So what you want to do is, you know, the product is 0. So the first one might be 0, the first factor. That will be 2 sine theta minus 1 is 0. 
Okay. And then from here you add one on both sides. So you then have a two sine theta on the left. The right hand side is zero plus one. So it's zero. So you have a two theta you cross one divided by one half and you have a two to cancel each other. So sine theta is one half. And then this one actually comes back to this one. So the solution is as above, the same. Does this one, two theta plus three equals zero, give us another solution? Probably not. Ah, if you add or uh, minus three on both sides, you cancel positive and negative. Okay, and then you have a two theta on the left. The right hand side is zero plus negative three divided by two on both sides, then you have a cosine theta is negative three halves. Cosine theta choose values between negative one and one. It cannot be less than negative one. Here negative three over two is below negative one. So no solution for that. So you only get the solution are the same as above. Okay, so from here you want to do those two yourself. You may think more. Okay, yeah, how about changing this negative one to negative radical three? What do you get? Then here is a, no, a negative one to radical three. What, or, yeah, positive or neg negative radical three. We may choose uh, ne negative radical three, what do you get? You may think more on that. Okay, okay, that's first example, sine x equals one half. 